All right, so the first effect is like the smoke effect that uh, probably showed like before this clip even started. But um, yeah, so first you want to add a solid layer, solid layer, and then add nebulosity. Um, I have this plugin in my uh, in my Discord server, so the Discord server invite will probably be in the description of this video. But you want to go to preset, make it preset five, and um, yeah, so you want to make it preset five. You want to scroll up and click on this base form thing and you just want to basically keyframe it on your first frame and you can add build up to it but for this I won't and you just want to go to like wherever you think like you want your smoke to end you don't have to do it at the end of the clip but I will just like do it I don't know like right here I'll probably end up moving it later but then you want to drag like this little square on the left all the way down and move the one on the middle uh, until you basically like can't see it anymore um, it's up to you if you want it to show at the end, but I'll probably like do like that much or something. And then you want to make the height uh, 10,000. So yeah. So once you make it 10,000, it should look like this so far. And what you want to do is you want to go to transform and you can scale it up if you, if you want to. Uh, I personally won't. I think, actually no, I'll scale it up to like maybe like 120. And then you want to change the width so it fits to 10,000 as well. Um, it really just depends because if you scale it down, it'll look like more, like you'll see more particles, but if you zoom in, it'll be less, I guess is how the best way to describe this. Um, next, you want to go to noise one and find noise one evolution and go to your first keyframe and um, uh, just keyframe it and then go to your last one and make it like 70 or something or it kind of doesn't matter what number you make it not gonna lie. So basically this makes the smoke like kind of move by itself as you can see it's like spitting by itself Which is pretty cool um, And another effect I like to layer onto this thing is actually um, uh, S underscore hotspots so if you guys want to see uh, what that looks like, oh, well, I'll show you the graph of this first actually. So you just want to highlight all keyframes, F9 it, and then uh, yeah, you just want to like, oh, wait, hold on. yeah, or actually, yeah, okay, my bad. So you want to like from here, if you want to do a build up, just copy your last frame and paste it. Graph it like this with flow. I don't know why the graph looks like that. Kind of confused but so you want to copy this graph more or less if you think that's too much then you can just mess around with that. i i use flow to graph so uh if you don't really have this then it's kind of to using the own graph but yeah so that's pretty much how it should look and you can actually fix the build up on this one some more make a graph similar like that um yeah that's pretty much it i'll go into the graph editor so you guys can actually see how it looks if you don't have flow yeah see for some reason it looks like very very strange i don't know why it looks like this but yeah all these plugins that i'm using by the way will also be in my discord server so uh yeah so there you go so that's what the smoke looks like by itself but what i like to do is add an adjustment layer on top of it and I like to add uh, S underscore hotspots. So hotspots kind of makes like this really cool effect where it's like it kind of starts dark and gets lighter. So uh, yeah, it's just like kind of like a cool effect. I just realized I didn't keep from anything. So you want to go at the the build up zero, right where your clip starts. Make it like 0.6. Every clip will be different, so you just want to mess around with it. But we'll just like do 0.6 on this clip. And we'll go to zero here. F9 and then okay yeah so this is what your nebulosity should look like I don't know why my graph wasn't working earlier but you basically want to make a graph somewhat similar to this like pretty much something like this yeah so you want you want to make a graph similar to that and um yeah that's pretty much how you do like this cool smoke effect that I use um yeah that'll be the first effect Okay, so for this next clip, um, 
this next transition, it's like a fractal noise type like fade in effect. So you want to have your clip set up like this. You want to have your first clip um, like under your second clip, like for pretty much the whole duration of your second clip. And you want to have a little bit of build up to your first clip, so like before it actually starts. So what you want to do is you want to add a solid layer and pre-comp it. And you want to double click in into it and add fractal noise. Once you've added fractal noise, you can uh, you want to scale it up. So I'm going to scale it up to like like 800-ish. You want to change the fractal uh, the fractal type to dynamic and then the noise type to spline. And you want to keyframe both your contrast and your brightness. So first, um, you, you uh, what is it called? Oops, my bad. So first, you want to put your contrast up like pretty high. And then you want to find like where you want to put your like clip. So you can mess around with the offset and find like a fractal noise that you like. So basically the black will be the, uh, the second clip and the white will be the first clip pretty much. Um, so yeah, you just kind of find what you like and what you think will look cool. Like, I don't know, maybe this will look cool. Also like scaled up more if you want. But yeah, I think, I think I like this. Yeah, this looks cool. Alright, so basically now you want to go to the brightness at the start of the comp and make it all white. Right here it should kind of fade in a little bit and then you want to go to the end of the comp and make the brightness at zero. So it's like completely faded. You can leave like parts of it kind of faded in if you want. Um, I won't. I'll just make it plain. And then you want to highlight all your keyframes, click F9 and then uh, graph it similarly how I graph mine. So um, yeah, it'll look different on every clip too, that is something I need to like say because it won't like look exactly like mine. Um, so once you've done that, you want to go to your second clip and change your track mat to so matte inverted. And then boom, you should have the effect just like that. It's, pre it's really easy and simple. Um, and by the way, you don't want to have any clips, like you just want to have, I forgot I should have mentioned that at the start. But I probably did an editing. You don't want to have any other like nulls, like adjustment layers. You want to have just the raw clips because it's just easier to work with. Another thing that you can do on this is add, um, not add, but you can change the evolution. The evolution is like pretty much like how it like changes, like kind of the movement of it. So I don't know. We could just like keyframe it here and then keyframe it here and make it like something else. Um, you just kind of make it like a random value and then you can just like graph it however you want. So I'll make it like this. And then you'll see that it's not like a static. As you can see it's kind of like changing. And you just kind of mess with it until you like it. I don't really like it but... I don't really like how I did it so... You can just leave it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now if you're wondering how to like add like your scales and stuff to this is you can add a null on your first clip. It doesn't really matter too much if you add a null to your first clip, but then if you add a null to your second clip, it'll screw it up. So don't do that. So you, I don't know, let's just say like, I'll just do my scales real quick. Make this 100. So, so we'll do our scales. So on the second clip, you want to do your scales like individually, like on the actual clip and not um, with a null because it'll just like screw it up. It'll like the luma mat thing, like the fractal noise won't work. So as you can see, this is what it should look like. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool effect. It's kind of like a 3D-ish when you add a scale to it. And if you want to add like shakes to it, uh, you just pre-comp the whole thing and um, add adjustment layers. And I will just like add a preset shape right here, right, right here. These shakes are not going to look good, by the way, because I usually, for my shakes, I mess with like the seed. So, but um, yeah, it should look something like this. So yeah, let's uh, uh, that yeah, it's pretty much like the fractal noise effect, and yeah.
Okay, so this next effect is kind of like a filler effect and kind of helps when you're doing like a zoom in clip or like a scale zoom. I don't really have a good clip for this, but yeah, we're sh I'm just going to show you guys the, how it looks anyway. So you want to add adjustment layer and go back. You want to go back maybe like two or three frames. I'll just do two. You're going to add warp. Uh, change this to uh, fish eye. Keyframe the, the bend and make it like negative something. Uh, maybe not that much. It just depends on your clip. And you want to make the start of it zero. You can go to the end of the clip if you want. I feel like it looks a little weird when you do that, but I'll see how it looks. You got know, F9 everything. Um, and then you just want to like graph it to like whatever you think is right. And just like that. Um, yeah, so it's kind of just like a pinch thing. It's just kind of like a filler effect that you can use. Uh, you can probably make this more sharper, actually. I don't think that would be that bad. But yeah, this is this effect is kind of just like something that not a lot of people will notice. But like, it's something that I do use in my edits like a lot, to be honest. Yeah, it looks better with like shakes and stuff. Let me add like a shake real quick. Let me just, I'll just add a preset shake. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah. So this one, this one's pretty, like, easy and just, uh, you know, just like a filler effect. If you don't know what else to use, then you could use this. Kind of getting, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much all that warp, like, effect is. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, I think that's all the effects that I have in mind for now. Um, if you guys want any other tutorials, you know, just, um, comment them. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. My Discord server will be linked is in my TikTok description, my YouTube description. It'll probably be under this video as well. Um, all the plugins that I use will most likely be there by the time this video comes out. If not, then I'll probably make an announcement server. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all the effects.